Beyonce is a friend of mine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Good me. Hold on. Her sister was a witch, right? And what was her sister? A princess. The Wicked Witch of the East, bro. I'm going to stab him. You're going to look at me and you're going to tell me that I'm wrong? Am I wrong? My she movie. wore a crown and she came down in a bubble. I'm not fighting with you. Grow up, I'm not fighting bro. with you. Grow up. Get educated. Ba Boom. So 131 people 131 131 turn it down a little bit more Janice please it's been it's been it's been <laughs> if I say that the song comes into my head it's been one week since you looked at me don't know the rest of the lyrics, but what I will say is this. It's been... <laughs> Stop saying it. Stop. About almost a week since the last episode, which is not ideal, okay? What am I doing? Why did I wait so long? Hmm. I don't know, because there's shit happening in this house, Okay. Currently, right now, whoops, I have no internet. I haven't had internet in the past three days. We got a new uh, landlord, so we're switching the internet privilege. Uh, the internet, the it, the responsibility of the internet is coming from the first landlord to the next landlord. So we got to switch routers, and it's a shit show. And of course. The technician didn't show up yesterday, waited all day, no one showed up. And so the thing's hooked up, the DSL light's on, the internet light's not on. So we have, you know, potential to have internet, but no internet. So, fantastic. I love not having internet. So right now I'm using my, f my hotspot on my phone for this. Okay, because I was like, I can't wait any longer. I gotta, f I gotta fucking film a poop cast. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta do what needs to be done to get the shit done. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it. And Janice, Janice, let me tell you something about Janice. She is not stepping up her game, obviously. As you can see, we're still rocking the Cherry Perrier in the can. Janice. And my shirt's too small. You can't really tell on camera, but it is definitely small. But it's a nice shirt. We got a marshmallow roasting a human. Can you see that? That's violent. I'm thirsty though, so let's eat this garbage or drink this garbage, I should say. Jesus was a friend of mine, strawberry flavor. <laughs> Y'all remember those mini wheat commercials? They're like mini, 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 mini wheat, strawberry flavor. Got so many cans of Perrier just sitting here. Cherry or strawberry. I bet the cherry would be better. It's just the strawberry. The strawberry doesn't work for me. I'm not one to complain about flavors, and strawberry's always been a pleasant flavor for me. But when it comes to Perrier, Janice, strawberry's not for me. Oh, not even a little bit. But I'm thirsty, so. It'll have to do. Last episode, we talked about school shootings. 
This episode, we're not going to, because this the school shooting took over my podcast. I don't, I, you know what? Let's let's stop it there. I don't want to make any jokes about this. I was gonna, I had a little joke in store ready to go, but it's been. Just strap on my boots and watch me go. Strap on my boots and watch me go. I've been sick for the past three days. The first. I haven't, but I am hungry. It is. Fantastic. Um, it's eleven thirty. It's eleven, eleven thirty a.m. Eleven thirty a.m. My facial hair has grown out, which is a, is an indicator that uh, the work has not been coming. Fine with me. Piece of piece of junk. You're all a piece of junk. Um, last episode we had other stuff to talk about, but I didn't couldn't talk about it because the school shootings took over and made the podcast a depressing piece of shit to watch. Also, I uploaded the two highlight episodes on separate days the the because shit was shitting in my face and the school shooting segment that I uploaded, the highlight version of that. I didn't put the friggin' logo up in the corner so it's just sitting in the middle of the video the whole time, so that's cool. And to just say, hey, well, why don't you just take it off YouTube, re-edit it, and re-upload it? Well, here's the, here's the thing. You take it off YouTube, okay? Then you got to re-edit it, okay? Which is easy. You just drag it up to the corner, right? But then, or maybe it's this corner. Or maybe, it's, I don't know. It's this corner, right? Because this is, yeah, 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 yeah. So then, then you got to export it again. Which takes another hour or so. Or two. Then you got re-uploaded. That's another hour. Okay? So those are two fresh hours you could have had some views snuck in there. But you lost your opportunity. Because you had to fix a little mistake. I'm not saying I get views anyway, because I don't. My average views are zero to three. Isn't that fantastic? What kind of idiot am I to keep uploading videos thinking that I'm going to get views. Well, I'm not because you know what? There's a process to the YouTubes. And if you know anyone like me, <laughs> what does that mean? If you know me, you know. If you know this podcast, you know, you know that my something that I always say is consistency and wait, what was the other one? Consistency and uh why can't I remember it right now? Can you hear that? Or is that just me? Oh, punch me in the face with the mic, why don't you? Oh, it stopped. I fixed it. No, I didn't. Huh. It's been... This is this is another great episode. Look at this. Fucking around with cables to stop making it noise. Yeah, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. It definitely stopped. What were we talking about? YouTube. Right. Oh, there's there's a text message. Is this the text message? Oh, cool. It's me landlord. He's like, I'm going to take care of the internet for you. It's okay. It's okay. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's such a nice guy. He's like super, super, super empathetic about every situation. And he's sharing my frustrations with the internet provider right now. He's sharing my frustrations. He's like, I'm so sorry for the, for the problem, for the, for the confusion. And I'm like, hey, man, it's cool. It's not your fault. Texting on a podcast. What are? What is this? This isn't the lab of luxury. You don't even get five. You don't even get five views per video. You can't. You can't sit here with less than five views per video and 
expect that you can still fucking throw out some little text messages throughout throughout the poop cast while you're while you're filming. I mean, come on, brother. I should make spaghetti. I'm hankering for some spaghetti. Oh fuck, Janice. I can't. This is the uh, fortunately, this is the last strawberry Perrier. There's no more strawberry Perrier. I drank all those bastards. So now when I go to the store, I'm going to bring Janice and grab her by the ponytail and shove her face in something good. Like lime. Lime is a good flavor for bubbly water. How about that, Janice? It's been... That would be a good soundbite. What am I doing? That would be a good soundbite, wouldn't it? I don't have that many videos lined up. Actually, I have none other than the one I showed in the beginning and this one. But it's okay. We will do Reddit. Hey, put some socks on you. <laughs> Did you like that? Did you like Let's watch it once more. Hey, put some socks on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, isn't it? There's nothing like a good little... A good little you know what for you know what. Donald Trump's getting impeached. I should stop looking at the fucking trends here. Because you know what that does? That uh, uh, that takes over your podcast like last episode. We were talking about Spongebob. And I was like, hey, why are school shootings trending? And I disregarded it. Then we started talking about the razor. And I was like, wait a minute. What is this school shooting? It's number one now. And then I was like, okay, take over. Don Cherry, school shootings. Well, Don Cherry was previous, but bop, 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 bop. So let's cover a few things that we should have covered last episode, but we didn't, okay? First thing, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. It's, uh, you all have it, don't you? Because if you don't, good for you good on you because I don't have it and here's why um you name name a movie and you can name pretty well any movie any popular movie any extremely popular movie that you would think oh everybody has seen this movie okay name that movie whatever movie you think that is I haven't seen it okay i barely watch movies or TV shows. There's a select few that I have watched and I enjoyed. But I don't know. I just don't watch them. I st I, ever since I was 10 to 12 years old, YouTube was my thing. It's all I watch. I watch YouTubers on YouTube. How stupid am I? I'm not. I've seen movies, okay? Don't get me wrong. I've seen some. But... The majority of popular flicks I haven't participated in, okay? Like Star Wars. Haven't seen a single Star Wars. Haven't seen a single Indiana Jones. Haven't seen a single Star Trek. Haven't seen a single Game of Thrones. Haven't seen um, The Godfather. Haven't seen Sopranos. Haven't seen... What are the other popular ones? Name something like extremely popular that you'd be like, okay, there's no way you haven't seen this. I probably haven't seen it. I have seen Ti Titanic. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm just one of those people who don't watch movies. And then I end up, when I get to the point where I watch that movie that was super popular, I'm like, oh my god, why didn't I watch this? I have a list of movies that I need to watch to fit in with society. But I just, I just don't do it. I don't know. I just don't want to. I just rather have like my thing is watching podcasts majorly mid major 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 the majority of my intake of of viewing something is through YouTube. I watch a lot of podcasts. 
I will, and and just YouTubers. I keep saying it over and over again. Stop saying it. It's been. I really need that soundbite. I should write that down. That is a good one. Fucking dynamic banter has done that too, haven't they? I'm just ripping them off left, right, and center. It's been. Now every time I say it's been in real life, I'm going to be thinking about that song, and I'm going to have to sing it. It's been one week since you pooped on me. What? Um, Dis oh, we're still talking about Disney Plus, aren't we? Disney Plus. They got porn on there. Don't know that. No, okay. Yeah, and so when it comes to Disney movies, Disney flicks, <laughs> man, I had barely seen any of them. I've seen a few of the Toy Stories. I don't know if I've seen Toy Story 3. I think I've seen the first and the second. Uh, actually, I know I did. Um, I've uh, What else? I mean, I've seen some of the older ones as a child, but I don't remember them. Like Fox and the Hound. I don't remember anything about that. Lady and the Tramp saw it. Don't remember it. Had it on VHS. Saw it. Didn't. Don't remember it. Um, Lion King. The Lion King. This is another one. The original Lion King, okay? I've never seen it. Crazy, huh? Not crazy for me, but it's crazy. Whenever I say that to people, they go, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I say, I don't know. Please help. Because <laughs> I haven't seen The Lion King. How crazy is that? What else haven't I seen? We could go, we could do this all fucking day, literally. I haven't seen pretty well anything. We, we, we want to talk about YouTube, though. Shoo. I fucking dip my toe into everything. I can't go a day without being... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop talking about this. Please. You're driving me nuts. Talk about something else. I say the same shit on these podcasts. Constantly. I'm like Joe Rogan talking about DMT and mushrooms. Or pulling the mic about a fist away from your mouth. Do I still have that in here somewhere? Where Try to keep this like a, a fist from your face. Yeah, bro. Verse. Yeah, bro. Heems. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Please, enough. Please. Uh, you're a pussy. You're a pussy. It's been. So Disney Plus, do you have it? Of course you do. Do I have it? No. Will I get it? No. I shouldn't say that. It's just everything is a subscription now. I've got subscriptions out the hoo-ha. I don't need any more, especially one that I'm not going to use. I'll stick with Netflix. I was using Amazon Prime, but I don't use it that often like I said all I want to do is bo 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 and a so so bom 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 how does that go all I want to do on my boom 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 I can't even remember Disney is great sometimes not really <laughs> I mean the the movies they make the things they make pretty cool the way they treat their employees? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Wait a minute. It's been... Let me just shut my hotspot off right now while... I am just sitting here. Because, uh, it's been... We don't need it right now. We just need it for Reddit. Because we're going to use it for Reddit. Reddit, my friend, Reddit. Well, since we were on the top of YouTube, we might as well talk about these new... Well, not new. They're not new channels, but they're channels I discovered a few months ago. Maybe even a year ago I've discovered these, but... Okay, so let's back it up a bit here. As a children, as a child, I used to love bushcraft camping. I loved the idea of it more than actually doing it because I barely did it. 
I was in cadets. That was when I first was introduced to it. Was in cadets, and when I when they were talking to me about it, I was like, "Oh my god, this is fucking amazing!" I don't know why, but I just loved it. I think it was because of the fact that me and my friend, one of my best friends as a child named Josh, we used to go to this nature trail, all, uh, like every day, and it was so much fun. We catch frogs and fish. And uh, chase squirrels, feed the squirrels. It was just like fantastic fun every day. We take his dog too. That was the best part. And so when the bushcrafting got introduced into my life, I was like, what the hell is this? Wait a minute. What? It's just, I love it. And so I did it in cadets, and they taught me some stuff. They taught me how to make a lean-to and chopping wood and stuff like that. I was like, this is fucking incredible. So I went home that day after the bushcraft trip, and I built myself a lean-to because there was a bunch of trees in the backyard, so I chopped them up. And I was like, make it a lean-to. Of course, I didn't make the knots properly because I couldn't remember, but it still worked. And then I also, what else did I do? Nothing. I shit my pants. No, I okay. I got I gotta check this out because this is for my internet. Okay, never mind. No, it's not. Um, where was I? <coughs> um, fuck. We were talking about bushcrafting. That's right. So anyway, I don't I don't know. I've just always been interested in it, and then. A few months ago, I discovered these bushcrafting channels like uh, Joe Robinette, which I think I've talked about him on here, The Wooded Beersman, TA Outdoors, uh, My Self Reliance. These channels are super relaxing and satisfying to watch. These guys go out there, they live in the wilderness for, I don't know, could be anywhere from one night to six days to ten days, two weeks, and it's f <laughs> it's fantastic to watch. They also build permanent shelters out of just the materials they have around them, and it's just it. I don't know. It's just it's like soothing to watch. You just sit there and go like, oh yes, this is fucking cool. Um, I'm I'm getting distracted in my brain right now. I did. Uh, I just highly recommend. Right now, I'm I'm into the wooded beersman and TA outdoors more than Joe Ro Joe Robinette, and my self reliance. But don't get me wrong; those are great channels. You should go check them out as well. But I just want to talk about the wooded beersman and the shit he does because he's kind of different than the other guys. This Wooded Beardsman fellow, he's Canadian, from Ontario, and he he not only builds uh, structures to live in and, and camping and whatnot, but he also does a lot of wild hunting and trapping, like crazy stuff. He'll eat anything, like uh, squirrel, skunk, pigeon, crow, whatever he can kill, he'll eat it. He even ate an armadillo, and he was talking about how there's a, there's a chance of, of getting leprosy from these armadillos, because they have leprosy, some of them. But he still took that risk. He went to, I think it was Texas, shot an armadillo, and ate it. He ate the f***ing armadillo, which... I thought it was pretty gross, to be honest, because the armadillo looked like it had leprosy. <laughs> and it was hairy on its belly with, like, splotchy skin. It was, it was gross looking. But him and this other Texan fella cooked up uh, uh, an armadillo in a pot with full of water over a fire. You know, so some of that stuff I don't really enjoy. <laughs> as much but I'll, uh, you know 
the majority of his content is fantastic. And it's not for everybody. But, uh, just try it. Because at first I was like, I don't know if I want to watch this. Even though I enjoy bushcraft, I don't know if I want to watch people make shit. You know? But then I was like, yeah, I know. What am I saying? I do like this. And this is very satisfying to watch. And you learn stuff, too. Uh, you know, same with uh, Adam Savage's Tested channel. He's making shit all the time. And that is also satisfying to watch. And you learn stuff from there. But this TA door Outdoors guy pretty well strictly limits his channel to just building structures out of the material he has on the land in the UK. And, like, the majority of his videos is just not talking. Uh, he's just sort of... Him and his dad are just... You know, you just see them chopping the wood, putting stuff together. And then, like, the last half of the video, he talks about what he did. Which is nice. Because there's some... There's other channels out there that strictly just do no talking throughout the whole video. And it's like, well, wait a minute. What's going on here? Can you explain? And they don't explain. I must apologize for this episode because it is uh it is lacking in everything. Lacking. Uh I've been I've been busy doing stuff and so was, you know, the whole internet thing too. There's just stuff going on where I'm like, hey man, why can't I get a podcast in? Because I got too much shit to do. So Wow, we literally talked about it all. Except for one thing, and that is the second mountain. How long have we been going? It's been 27 minutes. Uh, the second mountain by David Brooks. I can't remember who recommended this to me. I think Rhett. Rhett McLaughlin recommended this to me. But I started listening to the audiobook version of it while I was taking a walk. And my god... I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh my god. It is... At first I was like, okay, this... I mean, I'm only in chapter 3, I think. But the beginning, the introduction is like, okay, this is... This is gonna be a good book for me. Basically, the second mountain, he's describing... Um, you know, the majority of people have... Uh, different paths that they take throughout their life. And, you know, when they leave high school, they they have to climb the first mountain. And that mountain is the mountain of discovery and learning and failing, lots of failing. And then the second mountain is the mountain that you climb when you've, uh, you take the experience from the first mountain and put it into the second mountain. I'm really butchering this, but it's along the lines of that. And so... As he got into about chapter two, I was like, okay, this is making me feel good. And then around chapter two, I was like, oh my God, I feel like shit now. <laughs> because every little thing he was describing about how, um, you know, he's, 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 it's kind of directed towards millennials and how, you know, what we've been, uh, you know, what the culture has formed us to be and and what that is doing to us and what we are doing. You know, he's talking about how, how, how we have these ideas of, you know, wanting freedom with freedom creatively and just being able to do what we want and all that stuff. Man, I'm really butchering this, but when he goes, when he starts to go into describing how how wrong we are living our lives and he compares it to the ways we should be doing it it really made me look at myself and I was like oh my god I'm doing all this shit wrong I mean this goes for any book you read a new self-help book you're like oh my god I'm doing stuff wrong this is exactly me this is me this is what I'm doing I gotta change this and so yeah this is why I don't read these books because as soon as I read them I'm like oh my god this makes me feel like garbage because he's describing me. But that's the reason why you got to read them, right? Because you read them and then you're like, okay, 
Guess I gotta make change. Gotta change it up. Boppity boopity. And so I do recommend the book. Even though I'm only at chapter 3. So, so far I recommend it. But. I don't know, man. Just be prepared. Be prepared to be punched in the face. If you do decide to read it. Next episode will be better than this one. I swear to Jesus. Why don't we do some Reddit? But first, I got to connect to the internet. Uh, it's been... One week since you pooped on me. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Diddle, Are we connected? Yes, we are. Okay, you're going to go to Reddit. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got to sign in again, don't I? Great. Because I reset stuff. No, my friend, no. I can't remember if, okay, we'll just do this. Is that the right password? Fuck me. I can't remember my password. Cause I have so many. Bet it's not even here. Oh, it is there. That's the password. What the hell? Uh, uh. How's that not the password? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Wrong username. <laughs> hey, I've got mail. You've got mail. Four of them. Four messages. Jesus Christ. What? Who? Who? Bullshit. Go back home. Is it gonna? It is. The tradition holds up, people. Oh no. I left that light on. I wasn't supposed to. Oh, well. Found outside my university. What is L, the tradition? What is this thing? If you don't know, whenever I open up Reddit, for some reason, what is this thing? Subreddit is the first to show its face. Every time. So, what is this thing? Found, on, found outside my university. Seems to have some sort of laser apparatus inside. I can take it for free, should I? Oh, my God. Why wouldn't you? What the fuck is it? Looks like some sort of weird engine. What is that? This is a vacuum chamber used for material science research. Molecular beam. Taxi. Oh. Jesus. Did you hear that? That was that was not pleasant for the ears. Okay, what? Maybe this cord is not good for stuff. Please, please me. This is a garbage podcast. Nothing like a garbage podcast. Is this going to work? This is going to work for sure. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Yep, yeah, it floats, all right. Here we go. One, two, three. Hup. Here we go. Paddle McGee. I'm gonna paddle McGee. It's actually working. We'll see how long it lasts. His back is going to get soaked. Oh, there it goes. You know the song. Uh, that's an Appaloosa? If you say so. Lee will be fine. Previously mentioned that she will be filming something with JK Studios. 
who has announced that she will be appearing in one of their sketch shows. Ooh, fantastic. Lee will be fine. This cord is driving me fucking bonkers, dude. Um, here we go. A simple demo of order and chaos. And order again. So this is your life. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now it's starting to get out of, uh, get crazy. Now here we go, you're fucking right in the business now. Oh shit. Now your life's in shambles. Complete shambles, scrambles, bambles. And now you're starting to get your shit together. Okay, you're starting to get your shit together. Here we go. Grandma's excited. Oh no, you got... You're at you're at an order again. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. This is maniacal. Whoa! What the fuck? I don't even understand how this works. Is there a point where it's just gonna go right back to normal and stay there, or is it just gonna keep? Boppity booping it. Oh my god, this is a long one. This is. Oh, there it is. That's fucking cool, dude. It's four minutes long, but. I don't want to have to keep watching that. I keep getting messages out the hoo ha. Okay, so. Oh, people. You know what? I might have to end this fucking podcast here. Okay, that's it for this episode of Diamond Gizmo Podcast, episode 131. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You know what to do. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Well, do you want to party like it's 2001? Because Motorola is bringing back the fucking Razor, my friend.